Hello, in this video we're going to look at the inverse of a matrix. So to begin, let's talk about a definition. Let A be an n by n matrix. If B can be found such that AB equals B times A equals the n by n identity matrix, then A is said to be invertible and B is said to be the inverse of A. So let's take a look at an example. So back in the real numbers, back in the land of real numbers, um, we would look at a real number A equals 4 and another real number B equals 1 fourth and we would say that A and B are multiplicative inverses. So A and B are multiplicative inverses. Why? Because a times B, well that's just 4 times 1 fourth, that equals 1. And in the land of real numbers, a 1 is the multiplicative identity. And it's also true that B times A equals 1 fourth times 4, that equals 1. So either way we do it, a times b, b times a, um, either way we can see that multiplying a and b together give us the multiplicative identity and, and so therefore a and b are called multiplicative inverses. Okay, so let's look at an example related to matrices. So let's scroll up a little bit here, give ourselves some space. Um, so let's take a look at two matrices, a, which is the matrix 1, 2, 3, 4. And let's look at matrix B, which is negative 2, 1, 3 halves, and a negative 1 half. And let's show that B is the inverse of A. or conversely, you could show that A is the inverse of B. Either way we do it, uh, we need to look at the product A times B. And if we look at the product of A times B, this is just matrix multiplication, 1, 2, 3, 4, and the other matrix, negative 2, 1, 3 halves, and a negative 1 half. So multiplying through here, Let's say we get a 1 times a negative 2, which is negative 2, times 2 times 3 halves, which is 3, that gives us a 1. And multiplying 1 times 1 and adding that to a 2 times a negative 2, that gives a 0. And indeed, we get the 2 by 2 identity matrix. And similarly, if we multiply the other way around, we multiply b times a, what would we get here? Well, they're the same matrices but multiplied in a different order. In general, matrix multiplication is not commutative, but for particular matrices we may find that it is the case. Um, and again, if you multiply through and work it out, you will get the 2 by 2 identity matrix. And since A times B is equal to B times A, which is equal to the 2 by 2 identity matrix. We can say that B is the inverse of A. Okay, so I want to show you that the inverse of a matrix is unique. So this will be a theorem for us. So if A has an inverse, then it is unique. So proof. Let's suppose that A has two inverses. So let's suppose that B and C are inverses of A. 
and so we'll do some work and hopefully show that b equals c hence if there's more than one inverse in fact they were equal okay so suppose that b and c are inverses of a so this means that a times b equals b times a equals the n by n identity matrix and similar since C is an inverse of A, it's also true that A times C equals C times A equals the n by n identity matrix. Okay? But observe that C times AB, well, what would that equal? Well, A times B is just the identity matrix. So this would equal C times the n, I n, n by n identity matrix. So on the right hand side we have C. On the left hand side we have matrix multiplication is associative. So we could have written this as C times A equals B. But C times A is just the n by n identity matrix. And so on the left hand side, we have the n by n identity matrix times b. Well, that's just matrix b, and so we conclude that b equals c. In other words, if a has an inverse, then it is unique. Right, we showed that if there were two matrices that acted as inverses, if we showed there were two matrices that acted as inverses A, B and C, uh, then it must have been the case that B equals C and hence the inverse is unique.